I liked a lot of tracks from Courtney Barnett's debut album, but overall I thought it was pretty average, nothing really too special. So I thought I'd try this new track, Nameless Faceless, see what it's like. I'm reacting to it here. Hopefully it's good. Ah. Pretty melodic, I'm into this. Oh. I'm sure the vocals on the chorus there. Uh, I get what she's getting at though. The verses are really good. The way it sounds. I I'm not sure this part though, it sounds a bit... She's muffled her voice, I don't think it needed that. Especially considering she's making quite a bold statement. She's wanted it a bit more out there. I like this guitar riff though, it's a, it's a fun, playful guitar riff, it's good. I like how it adds to her sort of like sarcastic tendencies as well in her music. Like she's talking about some serious stuff, but she's still got this kind of like groove going on. So yeah, this track was alright. I like the melodic guitar playing in the verses. Very much reminiscent of her like really upbeat tracks on her first album, which I like the most. Definitely like Pedestrian Best. That's a great song. Um, and yeah, she's definitely, you know, rocking in this track. I think it's really a good rock track for today's modern era. It's quite catchy. It's quite melodic. Brings you back to like that early 2000s type rock music that was always like brimming with guitar riffs and just like a, a solid like foundation behind the song but the issue was the chorus really like I, this song is tackling quite a big thing like i feel like it's one of those things like anti-feminists don't really get because like it's a very common thing like women can't like just go out at night in the dark like on their own like it, 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 there's so many like societal like issues with that because of what like historically has been known to happen when like you know women are on their own and it's late at night and there are creepy men around <laughs> it's true like you can't deny that that's a fact and what she's saying on this song it, 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 like she's taking it a really unique perspective like how she's saying like oh i hold my keys in between my fingers like that, that again like you know like when you talk to girls as well like that's quite a thing like you know you're on your own, it's not safe, it's weird, you, anything could happen. And you never usually get that sort of like lyrical aspect in a song like this. Like it is really like, it's quite a powerful message, but to kind of like muffle it in like some kind of, I don't know what it was on that chorus, but her voice was just so like, like buried. It just ruined it. It was, ah, oh, no, if you're going to say something with that much power, you got to, you got to elevate your voice. You got to put it out there. In the verses, she was kind of like pandering a bit though, like the sort of like, like um, in the video as well, like there are all these fingers pointing at her as if like to say like, oh, she's a woman who's like being blamed for everything. I don't think it's quite like that. There are people out there that say stupid shit, but it's never like, like the way that in that sort of way, like if someone on Twitter is like trolling, like don't take that as if like that's how you are taken in everyday life. Like no one really like puts you to blame all the time. It's a bit, it's a bit, bit of a weird attitude to go with, I think. Like the points in her arguments are there, like they're valid and I agree with some of them, but then she's sort of like playing the straw man a little bit by like using the opposite end of like an extreme point of view to like make her argument look like it's more um validated in a way like it's like oh like men are scared that you'll laugh at you, that women will laugh at you but like oh but we we can't walk through the park it's like yeah you're right with what you're saying about like women have an issue like you know going out alone but like i don't think the way to prop that up is being like oh well men are just scared of women laughing at them like uh I, I, are they like what the sarcasm is something i can appreciate but it's there to fuel her argument to make it look better 
like that's the one thing I have with the online like internet culture now with like the way people argue political issues like you get one side using the extremes of another side to fit their argument and then the other side does the exact same thing and it's like you're on the outside watching and you can just see that everyone's just stuck in their own echo chambers not willing to take on any sort of like opposite um, opinions that might actually be valid but like it's just like everyone's just stuck in their own little world being self-centered and arguing their points and not willing to take on board any criticisms and this song kind of like validates that for me it's like the part where she's like oh you eat alphabet soup and you're just spitting out better words than me sort of like well okay like maybe they're putting out an argument that's worth listening to but you're just like diminishing that by saying oh they're just using big words well maybe listen to what they're saying try to understand what they're saying and you might get somewhere but it's it's just the way things are now like it, this song kind of like um has that sort of ideology that every every argument you see on twitter these days has and it's just frustrating to be on the outside of it all so yeah, like I want to like this song because of some of the points she makes are so true, but it's just so, it's done in such like a, a bitter kind of way, like you're using straw man arguments to make your argument look better, even though what she's saying at times is true, but then she ruins it by like opposing the argument with something insane or ridiculous that most people don't really believe or side with but hey I don't know I, again it's a decent sounding song just lyrically it annoyed me a little bit just because of how she presents the way that she's trying to put forward her points but it, there's some truth to it as well so it, I'm, 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 I'm conflicted here it sounds decent the chorus is a bit underwhelming and then the lyrics that they're good at times, then the lyrics aren't good at times. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's kind of like an average song, okay at best. So let me know your thoughts on this. Um, if you agree with uh, what I've said, or if you disagree, if you like the song, let me know. And um, have a good day. Have a good day.